Back-to-back shootings near local bars prompting security changes. Tonight, Turlock's police chief announcing a new plan to crack down on crime. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Steve Large. And I'm Marley Ginter. An off-duty security guard was shot and killed about three weeks ago during a fight outside the Grand Crew. Well, now police have amended the permit, reducing occupancy and increasing security there and at nearby Utter Place. CBS 13's Brady Hoblib is in Turlock tonight with the new plans to make downtown safer and how the community is responding. Brady. Those two shootings happened in the heart of downtown Turlock between the crew and Utter Place. Both bars will be open tonight, but with added security as a requirement. We love them. We love them, but it should be a safe spot. It should. You should not worry about, you know, stabbing, shooting, et cetera, et cetera. More security will be on hand at both crew and Utter Place as ordered by Turlock's police chief, Jason Hedden. There's some sketchy people that come from out of town, not from Turlock, but from out of town. It comes after recent back-to-back -back shootings downtown. The police department says they conducted an evaluation of the bar's safety and operational practices, and as a result, made changes to their conditional use permit, requiring Utter Place and crew to double the number of security personnel. I think it's smart, you know. The amendments require at least one security staff member for every 50 patrons. It also requires crew to reduce capacity to no more than 150 people. Changes Dominic Silva says are a good thing, but knows dangerous situations can happen in any city. This downtown spot is a cool place, so everyone wants to come down here, have a good time. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. I think we're all able to have a good time, but anywhere you go, there's going to be danger like that. But not everyone feels the same, saying police should also up patrols. There's only a couple of bars in downtown Turlock. It can't be that hard to have police doing rounds, you know. Now we reached out to the bar's owner, but we have not yet heard back from them. 